All right, so like I said, we're going to take a look at um, some software that'll help you with some of the graphing, uh, especially if you don't have graph paper, it'll make it a lot easier. Plus, later on, we'll be able to use it to manipulate some stuff. So what we have here is desmos.com. Uh, you can also get the app for your phone or you can go to the website on your phone. Both will work very, very uh, similar other than they'll have the uh, keyboard option uh, much like this always up. They actually have a calculator too, Desmos Calculator. Um, it's a actually really good, useful scientific calculator if you don't have one. It's uh, better than the calculator you'll find on your phones uh, by stock. So anyways, I'm going to show you how to use this to uh, plot that equation that we worked with earlier. In the last video, the uh, y equals negative 4x squared plus 3. And we're actually going to plot the uh, table of values here. So you can use this to plot table of values, or you can use it to plot equations. Um, so I'm going to just start filling in this table of values. And it's actually intelligent and automatically fills in the x values for you once you start uh, typing them in. And then I'll fill in my y values from that table. Again, I'm just pulling these from that last equation there we did. Um, in the previous video. And so now you see that they're starting to pop up on the screen here. The problem is I can't see all of them and I can actually zoom in and out. And if I hit the zoom out button, um, it'll work nicely. If you hit this button, however, the zoom fit, notice the shape of the graph here, the shape of my points kind of changes. This is not a good representation of the graph. This should be a skinnier graph. So don't use that uh, tool to zoom in and out. Instead, um, sorry, click on your tool here and make sure that the X and Y axes both have the same scale on them. Just when we're trying to look at some of the graphs, this will make it more obvious as to what's happening uh, when we compare different types of graphs. So I'm actually gonna set this um, to 35, so x from negative 35 to 35, and y from negative 35 to 35. And that just gives us a consistent graph. Now you can see that graph is looking much like mine did here. So all the points are nice and skinny. We can see them all, and all the squares, or all the grid spaces are actually squared versus um, being skewed. Uh, like the other one was. We can actually zoom the, or move this up if we wanted to. And then on this side here, back at our table, if I hit this gear icon and allow me to edit the list, and now I can click on the uh, green dot beside the Y1. If I click on that, I can change the color of my points, but more useful is that I can turn them on and off, but I can turn on the, uh, the line mode. Now, note this is a straight line between points and that is not the exact representation of this equation. This equation is going to be a smooth curve. And so to illustrate the difference, and I'm gonna show you how to use this to actually graph out an equation as well. So that's a table of values plotted out. And now if I add on an expression, I'm gonna do y equals negative four x and then I'll click down here to the power of two or I could click here and put a two to the power of two and then I'm just pressing over with my arrow key so that it goes back down plus three and here in black you now see there is that smooth curve so you see there's not much difference um, here at the top here, I'm going to zoom in a bit, but you can see there's a slight difference in the straight line versus the curve line. And now when I get up to the top here, you see a significant difference. It is supposed to be that smooth black curve. It is not supposed to be like the red uh, straight lines. So when you are graphing, don't use a ruler. Don't use straight lines between them. Try and practice making that smooth curve between them. You can uh, create an account here. Uh, I already have, so you can set up an account. And then you can actually save your uh, work on here and you can just click in the graph name here. So this is, I don't know, I'm gonna call it y equals negative four x to the power of two plus three. And I can save that. And now I have a copy of that graph saved. I'll be able to access that uh, from the menu. There's my saved graphs. There's also examples of graphs that you can find here too. So you can kind of browse around. Again, this is also available for uh, your cell phones. You can go to desmos.com 
and access it or you can get the apps as well and again their calculator is really useful so quick little overview on how to graph using Desmos and how to make a table of values using that especially if you don't have access to those at home